I'm with Keith and uh, we're at the PMC stand now. PMC uh, have a very strong following on the forums, so what are you showing here at CDA 2008? Uh, we've, we've got our CI products, which uh, we've got a range of loudspeakers, uh, from compact loudspeakers right the way through to larger floor standards, and we're mainly concentrating on the, the CI product, which is the, the wafer series, uh, which is a series of loudspeakers which are in wall and on wall. Uh, there's two models uh, of, of the in wall and the on wall. Um, this is the wafer 2. Uh, the wafer 2 has a 6.5 inch base unit, and the wafer 1, which has a 5.5 inch base unit. And it's got some quite unique features. Um, it's not compromised when it's positioned uh, vertically or horizontally because it has switching tweeters. So the tweeter always appears above the base unit, which is simply switched by switching from vertical to horizontal. It's also got a really nice feature as well if it's, if it's placed uh, in, a, in uh, a very high position or very low position. We've got the beam up function which tilts the image up very slightly so it always images in the centre of the screen, which is really useful. It's really useful also when it's uh, um, used in ceiling where it can tilt the image towards the listener so you don't need to have the loudspeaker directly above uh, the listener which is really useful. Uh, they're, they're all transmission line design which means you get great bass at low, uh, at low level so you don't need to listen at uh, high volumes to get a good bass response. Uh, it's also got great power handling and very wide dispersion so uh, within the room, wherever you are in the room, you still get a good even frequency response. And a good the, image. The one thing, Keith, that's, that, that's really caught my eye is, is the finish yeah. to the speaker there. Maybe you can explain the finish. The finish on the front here? Yeah. Yeah, this is a thing we developed called Stealth Baffle. Um, most um, in walls and on walls have fairly wide baffles, but the problem is with that, you get um, a coloration from the front of the baffle. And what our acoustic chaps at the factory have developed. Uh, a thing called stealth baffle and they looked at the frequencies that radiate off the front of the baffle um, and they've designed this uh, acoustic material which specifically absorbs that so they sound very very clean and they image properly otherwise they'd sound a little bit like someone shouting through a cup so they sound less less much less colored and more like a true monitor now it, it, it looks like a sealed box unit there, so I take it that can go in wall or on wall. It's it's not a sealed box because it's got a uh, the vent is in the front. It's a transmission line, so it's an extended line. Um, it's called an H line because normally our loudspeakers would be. Um, the drive unit would appear on the front of the cabinet and then the folded line would extend from behind the, the, uh, the main base unit and then down and then out towards the front. But with the, uh, with the wafer it's very, very difficult to do that because if you're going to put it into a wall you don't want it radiating from the rear so you have to have the, front, the, the, uh, the vent on the front but there's no depth of cabinet so you can't have the line extending away from the drive unit. So what we've built is an H line. Uh, so it, it's um, from behind the base unit, you've got partitions that create the H shape. Um, the rear radiation leaves the back of the base unit, it travels through a long labyrinth, which is created by the H, goes up to, towards the top of the cabinet, divided into two, runs down the side of the cabinet, and back out through the vent, which gives you that great control of the base unit and great base extension and lower distortion as well. Now these are obviously designed for, for custom install and so on where, where you want yeah. the speakers to, to look invisible. Yeah. Um, but I understand you, you, you have other products out there and some products that have even been uh, used for audio mixing recently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, well, 50% of our business is on the pro side, um, but we find that um, a lot of, uh, of, of uh, post-production rooms are actually quite compact and they also they need a, they need a lot of space in there. Um, they don't want to have it cluttered. So we um, installed uh, Wafer 2s down at BBC Cardiff where they do all the production for Torchwood and Doctor Who. Uh, so they are a true monitor uh, and that's the proof in the pudding really. Yeah, well, uh, I think it goes without saying if it, if it can be used for professional mixing, then, oh, yeah, yeah, sure. then what you're getting at home is, is closer to the, the studio master. Yeah, you're hearing it? it exactly how it was intended, not a kind of an interpretation or... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you also have some amplifiers here on your stand yeah, uh, indeed, today. Yeah. Maybe talk us through them? Yeah, sure. Uh, 
um, we've been distributors now of Bryston products from uh, Canada now for uh, well, nine on ten years now, uh, and they produce uh, very, very low distortion, uh, high quality amplification, and electronics processors, and uh, recently a CD player actually um, from uh, mono amplifiers, from about a kilowatt mono amplifiers. Uh, to multi-channel amplifiers, five-channel amplifiers, uh, little modules that you can bolt to the back of loudspeakers called power packs. So it's a really, you know, wide range of electronics and, as I said, their processors as well, surround processors. Well, like I say, PMC, a very popular brand on the forums, and it uh, looks like you're doing risk business here today. So yeah, it's good. Thank you very much thanks for joining us. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.